Hey everyone, Dr. Larson here. I've got a, a, a great video coming up for you. This is my good friend Chris. He owns Renaissance Fitness. Usually he's got all kinds of gear on. Yeah, his jacket's over there, but uh, I don't have too much of a voice today, but he's going to do some talking, talk about his story. We're going to show some testing here as well. He has a shoulder issue that he's coming in with. Go ahead, Chris. Uh, yep, I've had a shoulder issue. I've I didn't injure myself, I don't use that word, but I started having pain in my left shoulder. Um, a few years ago I had a similar thing with my right shoulder, it ended up being my adrenals were just tapped out and my right shoulder uh, stopped working. This time it was my left. Uh, it's been a couple of months now and it, it's, it's healing, but it's, it's still not good enough. I just find that I'm, I gotta come in and just find out what the hell's going on with it. Um, it just kind of throbs it, and, and so Dr. Brandt, will obviously found what's wrong with it um, so I can get back to getting back to 100%. So he's going to do some testing and we said we should film it because it's kind of funny. <laughs> All right, go on your back. So as you can see on the, on the blog as well, um, there's a number of different videos with Chris on there. He's been a very gracious person to have all his uh, things filmed. Um, he loves it. He always laughs. He always challenges me to figure out, hey, is that really weak or is that really strong? He is the guy that if you think any of this is faked, it's not fake. Come talk to him. All right? So, let's see if I'm still on the camera here. I am. So he's got a left shoulder problem. And again, sorry about my voice. I lost my voice. Um, I'm going to check some of his rotator cuff muscle. So push out here. And this is a rotator cuff muscle. It should be very, very strong. You probably, I got can't, nothing. you probably can't see his face, but he's trying. Now, if I do this one, push out here, he's very, very strong, and I can push hard on there. That's the muscle right up in there, okay? Yeah, that one feels great. He said that one feels great. Here's another one that we found that was weak. It's another lateral rotator of the arm. Pull back here. No! A lot of baseball players uh, injure this because they're throwing. And what stops your arm from flying off into space is those lateral rotators here. So not the ones that pull this way, but the ones that do this. Okay, those have to kind of slow your arm down. A lot of baseball players injure that one. Here's another one. Push out here. That one's Nothing. really weak. So where he feels the pain, it's on this side, but it's right in here. It's right through here. That's where those muscles attach. So they start back here and up here, and they attach right on that shoulder, right in there, okay? So, like everything, we need to figure out why it's happening, right? So you don't want a cortisone shot or something crazy like that, right? No. Nope. We were actually talking about that earlier with, with another patient out in the reception room, about people just running and getting cortisone shots right away. Let's figure out why he's ha having this. He talked about it in the video earlier. He had a right shoulder problem, I don't know, a year or two ago, something yeah. like that, and it was his adrenals. I figured that out. We got him the right things. His shoulder healed up just like that. Now, I'm going to check a few things because most likely there's multiple factors going on. So I'm actually just going to rub and stimulate the skin over this supraspinatus muscle, okay? So that's all I'm doing is stimulating nerve fibers there. Push out here. And now I'm back. He can't move me. He says he's back. He can't move him, right? So it's strong. That's how fast that is. Now, if we let that challenge die down, because that's not a fix, okay? We're going to let that die down. Let his nervous system reset back to how it was. Push out here. Ah, I got nothing. <laughs> and now it's easy for me. Okay, he's got nothing there. Nothing. <laughs> We stimulate the nerve fibers over the area. Because I'm trying to figure out, where is this? Where is it hurt? Is it up in the origin of the muscle? Is it in the insertion? Where is it? And I'm right down by the insertion kind of area. Stimulate the fibers again. Push out. I'm back. Right? That's not supposed to happen. But we see it every single day. So if you have shoulder issues, you need someone that can evaluate you like this. Because you get way more detailed information. Now, the other thing... Let's get that back to how it was. Let that nervous system challenge, we call it, wear off because I was rubbing on the skin. So push out here. <laughs> I got okay. nothing. 
Another thing we, that we always want to check is, is there a nutritional component to this? Now, historically, we put the nutrients in the mouth, all right? It works just as well if you stick the nutrients on the body. We all have an energy field. If you don't believe this, you're way, way behind in quantum physics, Albert Einstein, everything else. So, instead of wasting time by putting things on the tongue all the time, we're going to put it right on his body, all right? So I found this nutrient already. It's called manganese. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a mineral. And if we put this here, so push up. Oh! <coughs> he has no strength. Push out. I'm back. And he's back. And I'm pushing harder here. Again, you don't believe this? Oh, well. It's no skin off our back, Take right? Take it off. Do it again now. Do it without yep. it again. Push out. <laughs> Nothing. Same thing, right? That's just the energy fields. No different than having an EKG, right? Electrocardiogram. They don't put probes inside the heart, do they? They put stickers on the outside. They're measuring the electromagnetic energy coming off the heart. Same with the brain waves, EEG. We're using kind of the same principles here. We're using that, that energy field that's coming off of him, and that's coming off of this, all right? So we know he's got a manganese deficiency. Manganese is very, very good for ligaments. You can look that up on the internet somewhere, I'm sure. Very, very good for ligaments. So if his ligaments are not holding how they're supposed to, it puts more strain on his muscular system. Now it shuts that, 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 that down. So what were you doing when you... I was, pull, the last thing I did was pulling a stump out by hand and moving a bunch of rocks. So pulling a stump, moving rocks. Why did, he, why did he hurt his left shoulder? I don't know. He could have just pulled it one way and his brain said, nope, that's too much. Because this weakness is everywhere. When you have a ligament injury, sometimes it's right in the area, other times it's systemic, it's everywhere. So if I pushed, see if I'm in the camera here, if I push, uh, if he pushes out here, he's strong. But if I stretch the joint a little bit, just stretch the joint, Push out. Yeah, I can't. You see the weakness happen? Because we're stretching on those ligaments. Now, if he has the right nutrients, manganese, we do the same thing. Push out. It's solid yeah, as a rock. You can't move me now. And he said I couldn't move him. So that's how this, this whole system works. We're trying to figure out what are the factors with him. You can see other videos of Chris. We talk about an uh, appendix scar cell phone, different things like that. And he's a fitness trainer. That's what he does for a job. He owns a great gym just down the road. And uh, your body's kind of your life, right? Yeah. I mean, everyone is, but it's his profession. And that's why he comes. He wants to get the whole nervous system, his muscular system working how it's supposed to. Any last thoughts? It's another nutritional deficiency exposed again. <laughs> All right. We'll see you again next time. All right, we're back real quick. Uh, we haven't uh, worked on him yet. And remember, I found the manganese deficiency. He's going to get that up front. We have manganese here. But I also, as you saw, I rubbed and stimulated the area. I'm going to use a special kind of tape to make his nerves work better so his shoulder is better. Because he was telling me here, as I shut the camera off, he was saying, that's crazy how that works. But go ahead. He's yeah, good. he just, like I said, I, I had someone who injured their shoulder. They, and they didn't know why. They went to the doctor. They... They didn't know what was wrong. And I tried and tried to tell them that, hey, why don't you run across the street, see Dr. Brandt, see if you can find out what it is that's wrong. If it's a muscle issue, if it's a tendon, you know, something wrong with the joint. And instead, they went and got a cortisone shot, which ended up hurting like hell, they said, and actually took them out of training for a week or so. And to me, it's like, well, I tried to tell them, if he can put a piece of tape on your shoulder and that fixes it, why don't we start with that? And, of course, they didn't do that and just growling through it, which did not fix the problem ever, that whatever is wrong with their shoulder is still wrong with their shoulder, and they just bite the bullet and grind through. But to me, he's going to put, put a piece of tape on my shoulder because just the stimulation alone took the pain away. He, the, he couldn't move me anymore, but I also didn't have that throbbing pain anymore, which is our goal. Let's not have pain anymore, and if I can get that with a piece of tape, I'm taking that all day long. <laughs> and, you have, and you have a story of someone close to you 
Yep, that yeah. was that was the first experience with tape that I had. Is my I brought my mom in here. She had a motorcycle accident. Um, she landed on her shoulder, and she she was getting a frozen shoulder where she wasn't able to even get her arm much further than back here. She was headed towards mm -hmm. a completely immobile shoulder, and I finally said, "All right, I'm, I'm taking you into Dr. Brandt." And he put a piece of tape on her shoulder, and she just went right back and around and right back around her spine. And he said, well, how much percent better is that? And she said, well, 100%. And you can't get much better than 100% fix with a piece of tape. And she had that for, it was nine months, I believe. It was yep. a motorcycle accident, nine months. Yep. She had me in seeing some physical therapy she stuff physical like therapy. times a week, something yep. like that. Right? And they just basically wrench on your shoulder, but she wasn't able to get her shoulder back on her own. And she was heading towards basically having an arm locked in front of her body. Yep. That's where it was headed. And after that, she was it was it was fine so you know I'm a big believer in the kinesiology tape which again you have to go to someone who knows how to apply it because there is technique to that you can't just tape yourself up I get people wanting to do that and it's like well if you don't know how to apply it you know you're just turning yourself into a tape mummy but you're not necessarily doing any good because yep. Dr. Brandt knows the angles and the tension of where to put the tape so someone that knows how to apply it will make all the difference should we put that on video? We should put it on video. Okay. Yeah. This guy's going to go shirtless for you ladies. He is married though. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, I'm not completely shirtless because I think you can get at... Oh, excellent. Look at that. I'm ready. So what this does... There we go. Sorry. What this does is it reestablishes the normal communication with his brain and these muscles that got neurologically shut off. But again, he needs the manganese, right? Because that was the original problem, most likely. He was deficient in that. And we get deficiencies in all kinds of different things. So this is like a Band-Aid, but it's not the, the cure. It's a necessary portion to reestablish communication. And like in his mom's case... That that's what she needed. Her she had some muscle. It was a muscle in her rib down here that wasn't working. So her brain said, "Okay, if I go back here, I'm not going to be in stability. You, your your brain is always craving stability. So it's not going to let you go into a position of instability, right? So if we get the brain working with the correct muscles again, it'll say, "Oh yeah, no problem." And she just went right up the back. It was just it was amazing. Yep, it was miraculous. So I've got a little flap in this tape, as you can probably see there. So I'm going to use feedback from him at all times. I always muscle test. So I'm going to come along here. There's the spot. He's weak here. I'm going to direction. And if I direction that way, he's still weak. If I direction that way, he's now strong. So I'm going to put the piece of tape right there with that flap perpendicular, okay? Because what his brain is saying here is I need stimulation this way. So now I have to have a second piece of tape. And like Chris said, there's kinesio taping out there and they randomly put stuff places. This is actually called proprioceptive taping. Hardly anyone knows how to do it. But it's one of the best things I've learned. So I hook that onto that flap now I'm going to pull, I mean, I'm going in the correct direction, right? I'm going to pull until I'm pulling too hard. It's too much stimulation on his skin receptors. So I'm going to back off until he's strong again and then put it down. Okay? So now I've put that piece of tape down. Per square inch of skin, you have about 20,000 nerve receptors. That's information that comes up into the brain. Your brain needs that. It needs to know what's going on right here. So all we're doing is we're stimulating those fibers in the correct direction. Again, like he said, you can't just put tape all over the place. You gotta find the right direction, the right spot, the right tension on that. And I mean, all kinds of crazy cool things happen from that. So I'm gonna have him lay down again and we'll test the same muscle in the, in, in the same position. I gotta see about the camera here. Push out, and that's that same muscle. How's it doing? Good, excellent. No pain? Nope. 
And the reason why he has no pain is because the muscle is firing. The pain comes from the muscle not being able to protect that joint. That's why you have the pain. But now we have established... That's even better the second time. Better the second time? We've established communication there. Now let's go back to one of these. Pull back here. See, this one's still weak. I haven't done that muscle yet, so we're going to do that one. Go ahead and sit up again. So those muscles, again, are on the back side. Think baseball. Think shoulder pitchers here. And there's our spot right there. This is a special kind of tape. It's very sticky. It's heat activated. Yep. If you take care of it and you don't get it too wet, it lasts, it lasts quite a while. It the will. adhesive will be tough to get off when you peel it off. It becomes like a second skin almost. So I got the location. We got the second piece here. Usually in the office, this takes less than 10 minutes, the whole thing, start to finish. All right. Again, I'm pulling too hard now. I'm going to back off right there. And I'm going to just smooth that down. So on this one, I can see a little bit of a crease in the skin on there because of how hard I had to pull. Well, you're, you're stimulating nerve receptors that way. And we might have corrected both of those with this one. We'll see. Go on, lay down. They're kind of similar muscles, these two. Pull back there. Yep, that's that one's good. way better. Push out. Yep, do it again now. The second time was better. Yep, even the pain was lesser the second time. So the body's getting used to that new pattern right there. So that's what we're going to do for him today. Um, I will adjust his spine too, chiropractically, because we have to make sure the nerve flow is there. Because once you get an injury, something happens, your whole body adapts to it, and you have to reset all those different circuits. That's why we have to reset this with the tape. It works so well. Again, it takes less than 10 minutes in the office usually. Um, yeah, again. And it's instant fix. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun, isn't mm -hmm. it? It All is right. fun. We'll see you again later.